identification with you. What? I've been gone for four days. My wife cannot see. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the film head again. Liam Neeson is one of the most talented actor in Hollywood cinemas. There are lots of great movies of him that should be must-watch for you. Action, adventure, thriller, and sci-fi movies are there for you. So let's start, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel for further new movies and series. Number 20, Honest Thief, 2020. Honest Thief, starring Liam Neeson is a fun film full of high-octane action, intricate cat-and-mouse twists, but most unexpectedly a pleasing romance that propels the story and motivates our notorious bank robber to make some life-changing decisions. The plot of a remorseful bank robber wastes no time in getting down to the business of action, when two corrupt FBI agents try to take the stolen money and frame him for murder. Unfortunately, the quick moving plot comes at the cost of proper development. But somehow, Neeson always compensates with a great and convincing performance as an action character. The acting ensemble is very good, including Kate Walsh as the romantic inspiration for Neeson's evolving self, Jeffrey Donovan as the very best of cops, and a list of strong characters. Number 19, The Grey, 2011. The Grey is a great film, a fantastic film, about men finding their will to live while being hunted by a pack of wolves. It's about growth which is inevitable in most movies. The main character starts off incredibly broken after the loss of his wife. Throughout the movie he never seems to find the meaning in anything until he's in it. The Grey is so much more than a survival adventure. It is a gripping thrill ride on display, and it is a thought-provoking, poetic, and bold allegory about the value of companionship, the perseverance in one's life, and the consequences for loss of hope and not having faith. Liam Neeson is the admirable star as John Ottaway with his grounded performance, high intelligence, and brazen courage that can occasionally teeter-totter at times. In conclusion, while not exactly for purists but nonetheless, The Great is an awe-inspiring spectacle and a compelling philosophical allegory. Number 18, Unknown, 2011. This movie is so mysterious that even when you think that you have found a relation with it, still there is something left off. The story is unique and unimaginable. When you read the description of the movie, it is totally different from the actual movie. There is no identify theft. It just seems like it. The unknown is a twisty tale of identity, geopolitics, and paranoid conspiracies that unravels in true Hitchcockian form. Liam Neeson is Dr. Martin Harris, a well-respected scientist who attends a biotech summit in Berlin. Although the film itself is nothing new or groundbreaking, it is very engaging and is at least attempting to grapple with some philosophical and existential themes, and for that it is to be admired. It's very well done. Number 17, Taken, 2008. This is a great and fun movie from beginning to end. If you like the Bourne titles then you will love this movie. The fighting style and the way things get done is similar to Matt Damon's character, and it doesn't get old, and is interesting and great to watch throughout the whole film. The movie has a similar plot to other action thrillers, but even though you may know the outcome, it is the journey that counts in this movie. It is the way he does what he does, the way that he fights and overcomes problems that draws you into the movie and makes this movie so great to watch. Liam Neeson is such a great cast for the main character, he delivers an outstanding performance. I love to see an actor that can portray themselves in any way, a good guy or a bad guy and in this film he fights for his daughter, and he will not stop for anything. Number 16, Non-Stop, 2014. Liam does it again. A great suspense thriller that keeps you guessing the whole movie. Action-packed, suspenseful, and fast-paced, this movie is a great film for all movie lovers. Totally awesome. Almost the entire movie takes place on a non-stop flight and is a must-se for movie lovers of the aircraft genre. Liam Neeson gets text messages inside the aircraft demanding 150 million as otherwise one passenger will get killed every 20 minutes. The story is very tense. Neeson as the air marshal becomes himself a suspect terrorist as the ransom is supposed to be paid to him. All his personal details are broadcast that he is living away from his family, and he was a drunkard etc. Overall good Liam Neeson performance. An enjoyable family film. Liam Neeson's acting is gruff and haughty which amazingly fits his character. We highly recommend watching as I enjoyed this film very much. Number 15, Made in Italy, 2020. Michael and Liam have incredible chemistry together and make a fantastic team. The most astounding aspect is that the bones of the story hold great significance for the father-son acting pair, who experienced the loss of Liam's wife and Michael's mother, Natasha Richardson, 10 years ago. 
Naturally, Robert, played by Liam Neeson, is a widower and father of their son, played by Michael Richardson, who never got the chance to know or be raised, loved by his mother. The Tuscany home they lived in forces father and son to reconcile a dilapidated house, as well as confronting avoided, hidden, very human pain from the loss of a wife or mother, anger, and failures in the aftermath of her death. They navigate through it all, well and not so well, but that is indeed what makes the story all too real. This movie is for those who want to spend some time with a feel-good movie. The scenery is outstanding. The acting is good and the story is simple. Number 14. After Life, 2009. A must-watch film for everyone interested in learning more about the options and process of dying. Well written, with no unnecessary dialogue. The actors do an excellent job with their roles and are quite believable and compelling. It's an interesting story that draws you in step by step and does not disappoint. Watch and enjoy with an open mind. The acting is really good. The storyline is good. This film actually takes a look at the dead and how sometimes they might not come to terms that they have died. And as Liam Neeson character is shown to be able to talk to and hear the dead this helps the dialogue between the dead and him. The film looks at the relationship between and Anna and Paul, who have commitment issues. This film looks at death and sensitive issues surrounding death. So if you've lost someone this year, don't watch it. Number 13, Cold Pursuit, 2019. Liam Neeson does a stellar job in the 2019 Cold Pursuit. Set in Denver during two weeks of heavy winter snows and a collision of two drug lords who initially tried a coalition but ended up in an all-out war that wipes most of a well-casted 20-member tough guy ensemble off the face of a frozen tundra. Neeson carries this movie start to finish. It had comedy mixed with drama and suspense. It had some real funny scenes and then you were right back to the killing and drama and suspense. Laura Dern had a very short part in the movie and didn't really care for how they exited her but I guess it really was more about Liam and drug dealers anyway. Honestly this movie is really good and provides a great time away at the movies. Number 12. A Walk Among the Tombstones, 2014. A Walk Among the Tombstones is a film released on September 19, 2014, written and directed by Scott Frank, based on the 1992 novel of the same name by Lawrence Block. The movie takes off with the protagonist, Detective Matthew, Matt, Scudder in a car, with a partner, who expresses his dissatisfaction with Matthew as a reliable backup. Later, the detective goes into a bar. While he is there, there, two armed men come in and kill the bartender. Pursuing them, the detective kills all three people, including their getaway driver. Liam Neeson plays Matthew, an unlicensed private detective encounters many dangerous situations as he tries to nab the killers of the wife of his latest client. Liam Neeson acts fantastically, he carries the bleak, serious tone, yet every actor infuses it with life, and makes you think it's real. The characters, narrative and atmosphere fuel this story that does justice to Lawrence Block's novel, and the ending is a culmination of fear and dread and ultimate satisfaction. Number 11, Marlowe, 2022. Setting the film in 1939 allows for the usual eye candy of wardrobe and cars. The settings are easy on the eye especially as we are in the world of the rich. Liam Neeson is way too old for the part frankly. It was nice to see Colm Meany enhance his pension too. The chauffeur was incredibly charismatic even with limited screen time. The backdrops are unimaginatively conceived, and the script does not do Chandler's original character justice. Neeson, Kruger, and Lang try but cannot capture a film noir's essence. This film offers a well-acted and charming interpretation of a Chandler-esque story. Number 10, The A-Team, 2010. A good action movie of Liam Neeson and Bradley Cooper. Action is best with animation. Liam Neeson, Hannibal Smith, his character is the leader, how can you not like him when you see what plan he comes up with? Overall, a great take of the original A-Team show, obviously not exactly like the original, with many things changed, but still a very iconic, and a pretty great cast credits to Liam Neeson as Hannibal, Bradley Cooper as Face, and especially Charlotte Copley who nailed Murdoch. It's an entertaining movie of all-time army-based army mans that work for a mission is nice work in the movie. Number 9 Men in Black International, 2019. Back in 1997, Men in Black introduced the story of a secret agency that defended Earth from hostile alien invaders, while also protecting alien life that lived on our planet often as celebrities in disguise. Men in Black International gives us a soft reboot, 
with Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson as the two agents will follow as they attempt to keep the most powerful weapon in the universe from shape-shifting aliens that might have infiltrated the MIB. In this new adventure, they tackle their biggest threat to date, a mole in the Men in Black organization and they have to deal with a powerful weapon which could destroy a whole planet. Number 8. Retribution, 2023 While driving with his two kids, a man receives a phone call from an unknown assailant who claims there is a bomb in the car. Unable to exit the vehicle, he must now follow a series of twisted instructions while trying to figure out how to survive. Liam Neeson once again is so good in the action thriller genre. The plot twist was amazing. I was so sad and heartbroken, almost angry for what happened to his friend Papa from Stranger Things at first. The little Emily girl was so pretty and adorable. Her scared reactions were so cute and heartrending. The end was unexpected, very realistic and had a unique touch. Number 7, Run All Night, 2015. Jimmy Conlon, a contract killer, has a close friendship with Sean McGuire, his mob boss. When Sean employs contract shooters to assassinate Jimmy's estranged son Michael, the circumstances shift. Liam Nason, Ed Harris and Joel Kinnaman live their characters and the chemistry between father and son, between two friends can be felt. An estranged father guilt ridden of his past has one last chance to make amends with his son at the cost of his long-term friend turned foe. The action scenes are breathtaking. Photography and editing are good. Liam Neeson is superb at being the gentle funny world-weary guy you couldn't believe would become a cold brutal killer given the nod. But here he is again being just that in this tense revenge thriller. Number 6, Silence, 2016. This cinematic masterpiece felt like a question the director was personally trying to scramble through, and I sat for the ride. It's an honor to watch something as personal as this film. The story of Silence follows two Jesuit priests, Sebastião Rodriguez and Francis Gar, who traveled to 17th century Japan which has, under the Tokugawa shogunate, banned Catholicism and almost all foreign contact. Andrew Garfield was absolutely fantastic in this movie. Garfield once again proves that he's a great actor. His performance was emotionally striking and he nailed the character down. Rodrigo Prieto's cinematography in this movie was just flawless. The look of Japan has this foggy, warmth, and damp look to it. Number 5. In the Land of Saints and Sinners, 2023. In the Land of Saints and Sinners shows perfectly how you make a solid movie without putting billions into special effects and explosions just tell an old tale new with the help of a superb cast. Especially the acting shines bright in this little flick and makes the story and the characters believable. This is a Liam movie, but more than a Liam movie. It adds some other ingredients, stunning scenery, beautiful Irish music, compatible cast, 1970s Ireland and IRA, something philosophical to think about. They were all killing, for different reason, money, justice, for abused girl, for freedom, IRA's declaration, so which is justified and who are saints or sinners. This is a great movie encompassing many emotions and leaves you wondering about how far you would go to stand by your choices. Number 4, The Commuter, 2018. The Commuter is an action thriller film which stars Liam Neeson and follows a man who is unwittingly recruited into a murder conspiracy after meeting a mysterious woman while on his daily train commute. The Commuter continually ratchets up the stakes and the stunts. When you've watched enough of commuter-style plot-driven fever dreams and if you're paying attention, the real bad guy was easy to spot the minute he arrives on screen. Liam Neeson excellent as always. Always top-notch acting skills. This movie has suspense. This movie also has shades of Alfred Hitchcock. Liam again has superhuman fighting skills. Number 3, The Marksman, 2021. The movie was great. With immigration today, it was interesting to see a part of what goes on at the border. And it's incredible that stuff like that really happens, and the weak law enforcement officers in our country that can be bought. The plot of the film is thus. Jim Hansen comes across two Mexicans, a mother and her son, who are attempting to escape the Mexican cartel, and who are entering the US illegally. It is an action adventure and like I said, it does not pretend to be anything else and is 90 minutes or so of escapism of sorts. There are really no surprises or plot twists to keep you engaged, you will have to rely on the action. The team did an amazing job showing how the cartel was keeping up with him. Liam nailed it. Number 2, Battleship. 2012. The Battleship is an action sci-fi movie. Animation is best in all scenes and movie. Taylor Kitsch's play a role of lieutenant officer, 
In this role he worked very good in action, acting, dialogues all scenes. This is the future Earth and in his Earth alien attack the Navy officers work to destroy their plan by their guts. Liam Neeson is admiral in this Navy group when he saw alien plane he ordered to fight nicely, and he believes his officers and last he recognized all officer. Peter Berg is an alien in this movie and he worked hard. Gregory D. Gadsden, Todd Inobu Asano, John Tuey, Adam Godley, Rico McClinton all officers are best to their work in action, acting, dialogues with lieutenant, alien and actress. For new sci-fi fans seeking an action-packed adventure, you should watch it. Number 1, The Ice Road, 2021. This film will tell you that there are just a few hours of air left for the people trapped in the collapsed northern diamond mine. In order to save them, a group must drive across dangerous thawing ice and contend with an unidentified threat. This movie has everything from incredible CGI to high-budget intellectual twists. The greatest trucking company and the greatest actor ever come together for a beautiful romantic comedy that is sure to make you feel like eating antifreeze after watching. Check out Liam Neeson in Ice Road starring Liam Neeson. Also, Lawrence Fishburne was incredible. Overall, this movie was well made and is highly watchable. The frozen setting makes for some beautiful scenery to frame the action, and it's an entertaining and enjoyable action movie. Just hang on.